Hello and good evening. Welcome to Stutter Pot TV. I'm your host NJW and I'm back with another Round the World episode. Today we in Little Rock, Arkansas. Let's check them out. Crime News. We come onto the air tonight with breaking news. In the last hour, we've learned that nearly a dozen Little Rock shootings in the last 24 hours could all be connected. Thanks for joining us tonight. I'm Sarah Horvakowitz. Police say they have suspects in custody and that there is no threat to the public right now. Of course, this is a developing story with a lot of information. So THB 11's Ashley Godwin has been following this all night and joins us live at the Little Rock Police Headquarters. Ashley, what do we know right now? Sarah, you're right. Police tell us there is no threat to the community anymore. They arrested two men tonight after a violent weekend. 11 shootings across Little Rock. Three people are dead and three more are injured. Now, like I said, these shootings happened across Little Rock, so bear with me as I give you these details. So uh, right now, are they saying that these two men carried out all these shootings across the state of uh, Little Rock? Or are they just connected? They, you know, that's what they do. They give you a crime. You, you get caught for one crime, they arrest you for all of them until you tell them which one you did or didn't do. So you're self snitching. So keep your mouth shut. Of when the shootings happened, but they started Saturday downtown around uh, 2 o'clock. It was on Fraser Pike that one person was injured. Then the suspects moved to southwest where uh, they were shooting on Mabelvale cutoff. There were thankfully no injuries. And then on Midtown, one person died at the 900 block of South Rodney Karam. That's near the Good Day Farm dispensary. Now Sunday, the shooting started again around one o'clock. One person died on Fraser Pike and 3M Road. Some of these incidents were driving incidents. So. One person was injured on I-30 at 65th Street, and then another person was injured on I-440 near Springer Street. Now, there were three shootings in West Little Rock. They were all a slew of shootings together. It was before 3 p.m., beginning at I-630 near the Big Rock Interchange. Then it led to a shooting at I-630 in Shackelford, and then moving toward the intersection of Markham Street and Bowman. Thankfully, no injuries in that slew. But then there was another shooting in West Little Rock around 4 p.m. today. It was at 13111 West Markham, no injuries. And then the last shooting of the night was at 515. It was inside a convenience store on Mabelvale cutoff. One person died, one person injured. Uh, the men were caught, thankfully. Police did arrest two men around 545 today near Roosevelt Road and State Street. They are believed to be connected to at least one of these shootings in Little Rock, according to police. Now, three agencies, Arkansas State Police, Pulaski County Sheriff's Office, and the Little Rock Police Department are all involved in this investigation, and they tell us they still don't have a motive, but we will keep you updated with more information as we get it. Sarah. Those two cats, that was terrorizing the whole city, wasn't it? You never know these days what's going on in somebody's head. But for them to go around, they're going to get blamed for every one of those shootings, That's which is crazy because if they say they connected to one, but they're going to connect them to all 11 until they tell them who doing the rest. That's crazy. That's, this is Little Rock, Arkansas that I'm covering right now. Like I said, I'm, I'm going through all the states to, uh, to see their crime waves. For, it's, it's 50 states in 50 days is what I'm doing. All right, thank you, Ashley. I know you'll stay on top of this. When can we expect to know more? I know there's a lot coming out right now. That's right. Thank you for joining me. When on my next episode, I did all the A's. Now I'm on my way to the B's. So stay tuned and hit the subscribe button. And I'm looking forward to seeing you guys again. Thank you for joining me.